morning. Bright and early. Actually, that's a lie. It's not bright. It's early. Dark and early. And I'm getting ready to leave the yard here. Uh, heading down to Draco Azuzu in San Diego. Um, right now, showing about a hour and 45 minute drive to get there. Uh, I'm waiting for the truck to warm up. It is freezing. The truck's been on probably for about 20 minutes already. Um, but it's a long drive, so I'm just going to make sure it gets warmed up properly uh, before I hit the road. Uh, dealership is far away, but it's the best dealership. Uh, way better than going to the other one that is maybe 35, 45 minutes away. So is what it is. Uh, but the truck's getting a full checkup this morning. Uh, brakes are getting adjusted and replaced if needed. Oil change, fuel filter change, water separator filter. Um, we're getting as much checked out as we can from the issues we had last Monday. Obviously, there's no check engine light. There's nothing else going on, so can't really tell exactly what's happening. Um, what else? I don't know, it's early, but it's getting a full, it'll be ready for summer. Um, the only thing that they are not doing is the window. I'll have our local place out here do the window or the windshield for us. So that's kind of it. Um, I'll be working everywhere uh, this morning, probably a little at the dealership, a little at the bagel shop, a little at the coffee shop. Then I'll jump over somewhere else for lunch. Um, it's so far away, it doesn't make sense to go drop it off and then go back in the afternoon. Um, I'll go and walk to one of those places, start with the bagel shop, and then just start getting work done. It'll be another office day for me, which is nice just to get things caught up and get ready. Um, Casey starts tomorrow. That is our new driver. Very excited for that. Um, we'll start training, and hopefully by the first, uh, he is rocking and rolling on his own. And yeah, that's kind of it for now. All right, <clears throat> here we are enjoying our beautiful Southern California traffic. Map show about another hour and nine minutes until I get there, but you know, I did this for years. Years and years. Uh, probably since I was, yeah, probably since we shortly after we got married. No, not even yeah, when we got married, um, I would do, I would commute, and I did it, oh uh, gosh, I don't even know, uh, too long, and uh, unfortunately, especially out here, this is a requirement for pretty much <clears throat> everyone, I mean, it is what it is. Most work is in San Diego County. Most work is in Orange County. <clears throat> office work, at least. And, uh, well, more than just office work. The amount of years commuting stole from my life, I don't know. Um, it was bad. It was bad. Anyways, I'm getting, what I'm getting to is I'm very thankful that I don't have to sit here and commute two hours to work and two hours home every day anymore. The amount of time I missed from my kids and my family, uh, it's not worth it, man. It was not worth it. I would have been better off. I don't know. Anyways, a little rant, just sitting here in traffic, reminiscing of the past a little bit, and uh, I'm just thankful. Uh, yeah. Anyways, this new camera is awesome, by the way. It is dark and it looks amazing. The GoPro does really, really bad in the dark, so I am extremely pleased. So, um, while I'm down there, I'm gonna start editing some of the video. Um, well, it'll be the the video that I started recording with this camera. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm really intrigued to hear how it sounds and see how it sees, see, sees how it looks, see how it looks. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm done. All right, here we are, Draco Isuzu. Truck's all checked in, and now it's time for me to go and try to find some coffee somewhere. <sighs> wow, what a day. Um, I am walking back to the dealership right now. 
Uh, they are done with the most important parts of the service. I had to call them and knock a few things off of service because I have to get back. Um, the Ram, so 2022 Ram, 93,000 miles, uh, the transmission is overheating. So I'm down here in San Diego with the dump truck and the guys are up in Temecula using the Ram to get the their appointments done. And as you know, Mondays are busiest days of the week. Um, the end of last week was absolutely horrible. Uh, to say that I'm stressed, to say that I'm stressed would be an understatement. So uh, the transmission shop can get me in as soon as Wednesday, um, just so that we can get the transmission service and looked at. I don't, uh, the Ram still has a, a warranty on the transmission until 100,000 miles. So that's the good news. Um, however, the dealerships are horrible <laughs> and it takes two weeks just to get an appointment. So I'm gonna pay for the service just to get it in and get it looked at. I'm sure they'll let me know what's going on. I'm assuming it's just the service, but you know, it's just a perfect storm. I'm all the way down here. I can't help my guys. Basically what they're doing is they're, they're riding with the Ram getting to each appointment. By the time they're there, the transmission's heated up. It needs to cool down. They do the job, they load, they get to the next one, same thing. So this is not an ideal situation by any stretch of the imagination. This should not happen. That truck should be parked. I'm risking more damage, but I kind of SO out here. Um, anyways, I had them kill some of the additional services. They got the oil change done, the fuel filters, water separator filter, and the AC itself um, serviced, which it just needed a, a replacement belt. One of the belts was going. So, ah, uh, man. That's enough to get us by for now. Um, I'll reschedule another day to come and do the big service. Kind of, it is what it is. So, um, I walked to the coffee shop from the dealership. It's a 30 minute walk. I'm walking back. I didn't feel like spending 23 minutes for $23 on an Uber each way. I need the exercise anyway. So it is what it is. Being a business owner is fun. It's stressful. Why am I worrying about the random transmission, man? This is not. I was worried about the dump truck transmission, which they can't even tell me anything because there's no check engine lights. Nothing to tell them anything. So hopefully it was just a fluke, but I don't know. Yeah. Two junk king trucks. One 1 800 got junk truck. There was another junk truck up front. So. Anyways, I am heading out of here. Got my bill paid. I need to get up back into town so the guys can take this truck over and I can try to find another transmission shop that can get me in for service today or tomorrow. I don't I don't think we can wait until Wednesday, but we'll see. Well, we are at the Santee Landfill here in San Diego. I uh I've never been to a landfill that requires a hard hat, uh, but I know that's pretty standard everywhere else. Uh, which is too bad though, because I have a beautiful hard hat that uh, John from Same Day Dumpsters gifted me, uh, maybe a little less than a year ago, but it's all right. Had to buy a new little hard hat here. Uh, we never, we're never out here. The only reason why I'm dumping here is because it was 10 minutes from the dealership. The guys didn't make it in time to dump on Saturday evening, and I'm gonna have to go straight to them and switch trucks, so uh, no point in driving past them and dumping and then coming back. So pay a little bit more to dump out here, but it'll benefit us more in the long run. So, so far, beautiful looking landfill, nice and green, paved roads, which is amazing. Uh, I think she said it's a hundred and 115 a ton or something like that. I had to give her a uh, 
$200 deposit and uh, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Well, it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Um, I'm pretty stressed, not gonna lie. Um, nothing we can do about it. Um, hopefully the transmission is nothing major, but um, we'll see. This truck is running beautifully now that I got the service, by the way. <laughs> nice and smooth. So, um, what's hard is our dealership so far away. Uh, so, I don't know. Well, this day just keeps on giving. If it's not one thing, it is another. My van died. Uh, I haven't driven it all weekend, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways, um, I got back from San Diego, switched trucks with the guys, which was just at the right time because they were basically filling up the truck at that last appointment that I met them at. From there, I brought it to the yard, but it wasn't really overheating. It was definitely running hot, but not overheating. So, I, uh... We still had two more dumpsters to pick up. I went and I picked up one of them. I just wanted to drive it around, see what it felt like. The truck definitely feels like it's struggling, but it's, I don't know how to explain it. It definitely needs service. Um, I am hoping it is just nothing major. I'm hoping we don't need a new transmission, um, but we're not slipping. I, we, neither one of us have felt a slip. We'll see. Um, we have one more dumpster that has to get picked up tomorrow and one that's getting delivered tomorrow. I think I feel comfortable getting that done after driving it around for the last couple hours. I definitely don't want to turn down any work or cancel on anybody. We've never had to do that and I definitely don't plan on starting now. Worst case, if it doesn't work out for us to deliver, then I will sub it out to one of our other local guys. Not ideal again when all these repair bills are starting to uh, pile up or the potential, I should say, for these repair bills is starting to pile up in my brain. So bringing in as much as we can right now is definitely is definitely important um, Casey our new driver for the dumpsters is supposed to start tomorrow morning I don't know I don't know what to do um, I might just have him come in for a few hours with Philip and Philip and kind of show him where landfills are at I think that's what I'll do I'll have him come in he'll go with Philip dump the dump truck We'll come back to the yard. They can load a 15, deliver that in the morning. And then from there, maybe go pick up the 20, depending on how the truck's filling. I don't know. The, the issues of only having, or the issues of not having a backup truck are compounding on us. And uh, I've waited because I didn't want to make a poor decision. I didn't want to rush into a decision. I wanted to make a, a smart decision, an educated decision. And now I feel like I'm going to get forced into just walking in the lot and buying a new truck. And I do not want to do that. I don't want to do that. So we'll see. Um, I also don't want to spend any money that we have on a down payment because I don't know what maintenance bills are coming our way. If this thing needs a new tranny, uh, that is not cheap. That's not cheap, but I think it's still covered under warranty. I don't know. Um, for now, I'm going to go home and I'm going to rest with the family a little bit. Try to take my mind off this day and, and 
go from there. Well, the fun continues. Teenage drivers. See the culprit coming. <laughs> That's what sliced into it. Where is it at? I don't know. It's broken. It was other half is screwed off. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on so you can get out of here. Sure. Yeah. Probably more than that. <laughs> Looks like we're starting at yeah. Roadside assistance company now. That's what two roadside assistance situations for tires in the last two weeks. <sighs> Trying to have a good attitude about this, you know? It's been an interesting day. Trying not to feed into this negativity, so have a good evening. <laughs>